Okay. It says 45 degrees. I went to the shit out of it. Now we'll do some more digging with this famous and mill. Zero. That is <clears throat> what I use when I'm trying to set up angles and this stuff. It, look, it's worked for me so far. Okay, just to show this in action of what, it, what it's doing and what it has done. Uh, I'm, taking cut, uh, you know, I'm taking light cuts and very slow speed, so I'll just go to I'll just take three millimeters. Give it a little bit of lube. Give it another lube. Actually, when I get this job finished, what I'll do is I will take it over to the bench and show how much this is done. And we'll have a look at the, at the end. And I had a look at it the other on. It was pretty impressed. Absolutely no sign of wear whatsoever. I got a few of these and the only thing that tempted me was the price and I thought, you know, they'll do for, you know, roughage work and um, this stuff, as I say, is very, very hard uh, I was trying to mark it here with a hacksaw the only thing was going to bounce off it I found that it was nice and easy and all my speeds are running pretty low if, well, if I can trust this thing up here it's saying about 900 you know, maybe slightly over 900 RPM it actually feels a bit slow but it, that seems to be the best way it works now, also this is a um, 16mm end mill now I actually damaged the top beam but that was my own fault I just shot it into the workpiece and um, I expected it to crap itself I thought, oh and um, no, it, now it did need sharpening but not this particular one the, the top beam needs sharpening like I say, it's not a loop it's amazing what it's doing. And again, we say that the price that tempted me, I thought, well, you know, I have the whole pile to lose if it was for some roughing rock or something. Uh, I did not expect the problem. Okay, so, what's the final verdict? It's good and it's bad. Well, it's not all that bad. This thing managed to um, machine this stuff. Now, first off, this bloody thing was something I dug up up here next door in an old farmyard. Now, we see it was just for parking machinery, but my father bought it back in the 1960s sometime. Uh, there had been nobody there since probably the 1950s and this was actually found under one of the foundations so it's obviously there since the turn of the last century um, it looks like it's an axle of a horse cart or something of that sort of thing it would have been more than likely locally forged this stuff is extremely hard the bandsaw refused to cut it, I'd actually cut it, now I cut a bit before for something else and I found the same thing, um, extremely hard, but um, <coughs> this thing it did, it took all this out, this is actually for a tool post. Uh, tool holder 
uh, I'm just trying to make a few spare ones and I know this thing will will last <coughs> so I took all that cleaned it off took all this out took these out and it was on the last one it grabbed up here got the light now is another question so I was in yeah I think I was gone in eight, or down 8 millimeters and in about 4 millimeters or something I thought I'd be ok but it grabbed and totally lost one flute and lost about a bit more than half of another one however it did finish the job it did finish it off uh, even though there was just a couple of runs left in it <coughs> so <coughs> would, would I would recommend it I would recommend them uh, just looking at them now I know the camera isn't going to pick them up but the, fl the two flutes that survived they are just perfect you can actually feel the sharpness in them all the time even after all that hogging and bloody cutting <coughs> would I recommend them? yep uh, would I get one again? yeah I'm actually going to order maybe two of them although I will look they have bigger sizes there are 18 I think they're up to 22 millimeter and the price at the minute well when I got an ocean that's only recently uh, it was a very good price in them uh, with gear best so I definitely tonight I'm going to look if they're still there at the same price uh, <coughs> I'll definitely get one of these again um, I might even look because I know the prices are very tempting for the likes of a 20 or 22 mil as best I can remember I think they go as far as 22 um, I was amazed with it now it's finished it was absolutely perfect and even this one it finished it even though well of course the whole thing when this whole fucking thing jumped then it went a little bit deeper than needed there but that's that's okay it's, I've tested it it's, it's fine um, I think I may have gone in a bit too hard same thing happened to me with the 13 now oh, the 14 millimeter that I got I've used quite a bit <coughs> but the 13 I was doing another job and I was under a bit of pressure yep I had about 22 of those to finish <coughs> elongate them and just forgot myself for a second and whoa no it was one of those sort of situations where for a second you duck you know oh, you're expecting bits to go in all directions no all that happened even though everything this thing jumped out of the vice and everything the, the way it jammed in it all it has done it hasn't even broken but just that little bit of wear slight bit of wear right on the very outsides of all of the um, except one one is still fine but three of them um, you know bit of grinding and that is back to normal again probably overhogged it on this one maybe I could have ran it uh, at a slightly higher speed I think it was around 900 and I don't know if it's doing 900 because the belt is dodgy in that thing as well um, it's possibly less I would say probably next time I'd be using that now I would run it up to the thousand mark now we're not going to throw it away because I, now I could be wrong but I reckon if I cut that again down here I should be able to um, re-engineer it you know, it's to me, it's worth a try. Um, like I say, I was impressed with it because that stuff is hard. You say the saw wouldn't cut it; I'd cut it with an angle grinder, and at that, it was—it's a battle. I don't know if I'm going to use any more of it for one of these. It's just too much. Uh, I might look around. 
it's a little bit in the small side. I could do with five millimeters extra all the way around, or even a little bit more. Like I've had to let it suffer here a bit. You know, I'd have had to take it down too far. Um, we we'll see how that goes. Uh, I know this place is a bit rough in here, but that's due to this bloody tool. That's something I actually made that when I was working in BIM. That was back in the mid 70s sometime. And it was actually a local blacksmith that um, hardened it for me. Now he used to harden them in, you know, the blacksmith's fire. Even that time there was still quite a lot of horses in that and the farms. So, you know, he was, guy was still going. I was on in years that time. But he did an unusual trick. He would have a big fire, you know, the fire would be half the size of this bench. And he'd written, you know, your piece up there. And then in one part of the fire, he would have a pile of um, limestone chippings, <coughs> uh, or even small broken up limestone. And he'd bury this in it for about was in it, I think about two hours or something and then he'd quench it now I'm only guessing but I think it had something to do with the carbon in the limestone I'm only guessing that uh, but that hasn't been sharpened or anything that has been used I mean it sat in the other shed there that I used to use one time um, sitting there for 30, 40 years. <laughs> um, it was only maybe three or four years ago I took it out for... Uh, I was actually trying to make one with D2 steel and then I knew I had something similar somewhere. I eventually found it and I've used it a few times so that was used to take out um, these slots. It still does, still works fine. It could probably do with being sharper now, but yeah, still okay. I mean, it it it, it worked on that. Now it, it it struggled, but it 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 did the trick. So that's it. I say, yeah, I buy one. I'm actually going to check their site again tonight, and if the price is still the same, yeah, I'm definitely get another sixteen. Um. As far as you know, the price for the 20s, I think the one this far as 22 uh, millimeters in diameter. Um, yeah, I did there. And um, they are steel. Um, what do they call it? Silver, hard silver steel or some bloody thing. But, yeah, the fact that it even attacked that thing at all, like, the, they're good. Um, I think the next time I would up the, sp the speed of the metal a little bit and still keep it going slow. So that's it. Just for interest for anybody, they are worth it. And that was some test. I hope it didn't